Hello viewers, this is Ajahor Rafi once again. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to remove backgrounds from an easy image like this one which has a few color verticals and the process of removing backgrounds from a complex image like this one which has several color verticals. Okay, so first of all I have to open this file into my Photoshop okay and one thing to mention i am using photoshop cc 2015 version and if you are using the latest version or kind of older version then it's all fine to watch this video because all of the features are same here to use okay and this video is for beginners only and i am going to show you all the process very manually okay and if I have to use any short code, then I will definitely mention the code along the way. Okay, so here to remove background like this one, this is a easy background uh, background color. Okay, so to remove this background, I will use three options like select color range. Okay, this is the first option, and the second two options are by using this tool magic wand tool and I will use both of the versions quick selection tool and the magic wand tool okay so first of all I am going to use the select option so I'm clicking here and then I have to click on this color range button okay and then here we have got the option okay here fuzziness option so as you can see here we have selected 40 so it's been selected this part as well as you can see the indicator here so i'm going to increase the selection part and just notice there will be some change okay and let's do a little bit more i think that's enough 160 okay let's put 160 and let's click on OK and here we go we have got the bowl and the foods very smoothly selected okay and now we have to click on select again and then we have to click on inverse and the short code is shift plus control plus I okay so I'm going to click here okay and once again we have to go to select op select option and then we have to click on refine edge and the short code is alter control and r okay so i'm going to click here and now it's time to give it an output okay in this window output to we will select the new layer because we want this original image to be stayed and we also want our new image which will have a remote background in a new layer okay so we'll have both versions the new image and the previous image so I'm going to click on new layer and then I have to click here on ok and here we go we have got our image here is the original image okay original one and here is the new one okay so that's the process of using the color range option and image refining option to remove the background from a photo okay and now i am going to show you the process let's delete this one so now i'm going to show you the process uh, of using magic wand tool and to do this first of all i am just making a duplicate of this layer so we'll have the original version and the editable version so here is the layer the new one background copy and now i'm going to select the tool here quick selection tool and by using quick selection tool i'll be able to select this image very easily for example i am just i've just selected the tool here's quick selection tool and then i have to click and then drag through all the image and here you go we have got the bowl selected very smoothly okay and here only one thing we have to do and that is we just have to enter on the
the delete button so I'm going to enter on delete button and our background has been removed the reason why we are not seeing the remote version is here we have to click on this I button okay unlock this one and here we go our background copy has no background in it and here is the original copy okay so that's the process of using the quick selection tool for an easy, easy image and it's time to use the magic wand tool okay so once again i'm going to delete this layer oops control d and then delete layer okay and now again i'm going to make a duplicate of this layer and let's just unlock this one okay so now i have got the selection here on the background copy as you can see and i'm going to select this tool from magic wand tool here magic wand tool and what this tool will do if i click on a color vertical then it will select all the colors one image has okay in a row for example if i click here then you can see it already selected all the pink colors and here we have got some unselected parts because it has different color verticals which the magic wand sorry the magic wand tool is not being able to select or match okay so in this case we have to click here once again to select this part only and then we have to click here to select this part only okay so that's the process of using the magic wand tool so in this case i am going to select this part first and then i have to click on enter and here we go we have removed the first part and here for this part we have to click here and then it's already been selected we have to click on delete once again and then we have to remove this part and delete once again and here we have got a little part so to select this part we have to make some uh, image bigger okay so I've, I've just used control and plus button to zoom in the image and then I'm going to click on this yellow uh, pink button sorry pink color to select this part and then click on delete okay control and minus to zoom out and here we go we have got the image without background okay so that's the process of removing backgrounds from an easy image which has very few color verticals and when you are about to remove a back, background image or background colors from an image like this this is going to be kind of tough but i'm going to show you the easy process okay so first of all i'm going to open this image here we go and here if i use quick selection tool or magic wand tool let me show you the problems so if i just drag all throw all the image then it is selecting all the parts is being able to capable of okay so as you can see it's already selected all the parts okay not any single part so that's the problem Control d here once again let's try so it's selecting the fingers and the hand parts of hands okay so that's the problem of using quick selection tool for a complex image and let's try this one magic wand tool control d to deselect the part and then magic wand tool i'm going to put it click here and then see it just selected all the colors that has these types of colors matched okay and if i click here it will select this part if i click here it will select this part so that's the problem of using these tools okay and for this reason to get a smooth background removal we have to use the pen tool here it is the pen tool and if we click here on pen tool okay and now i'm going to show you the process of using this one so to use pen tool 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit of the photo by clicking on Ctrl and plus button and then I have to make a start point so I'm making it here the start point and then I have to so here um, let's just start okay so here I have just made I have just uh, made a start point and then I have to click here in this part because it has a straight selection and here we have got the handle handle of the pen tool so if we if we just drag the handle through the top or in the up then the selection or the carving will be in the downside and if we just uh, if we just drag the handle into the bottom then our carving or the edge will be in the top okay as you can see here it is okay so by using the handle top bottom and long shirt then we'll be able to make some adjustment of the selection so I'm going to make some adjustment here okay okay so I think it's good so now here we have got some extra part of the handle and to remove the extra part we have to click on alter and then click on this button or the, this point okay and then we have to click here to select this part and it's already been selected and again alter and this point and then we have to click on here to select this part and it's already been selected very nicely as it is a straight point and then we are going to select this part and using the handlebar to make the adjustments okay and then I'm going to click on here and here's the adjustment once again clicking on here to make the adjustment okay and then just I have to I have to remove the extra handle button here so I have to click on alter and then click on the point okay and it's time to click on here and make the curve okay so once again I have to remove the extra part and then I have to click here and then using the handlebar to uh, to make the adjustments okay and then alter delete uh, sorry alter and click to delete the part and then we have to click here make the adjustment okay and then remove the extra part and then click here and make the selection here and then remove the extra part alter and then click on the point and then maybe here oh that's okay I'm clicking here okay and then remove the extra part once again here okay it's straight no problem and then we can select click on here I will be able to select this part at a time as well okay so I have just made the selection and now remove the extra part here so we'll have some gap here but it's okay because I'm not going to make it so too smoother because it will take a little extra time and I don't want to make you bold okay so I just selected this part now click here to select this part oops I have to remove the extra handle alter and click on on the point okay once again remove the part here okay okay let's go here's the curb and remove the extra part and then here it is okay so we have just selected now we have to make the selection in this through the ending point so to do this we have to click on this button and then click on 
just I'm just uh, making it a little bit zoomed out and then I am going to click on control and enter to select this part okay I selected the hand and now copying the part and opening a new layer okay and then pasting it here and I have got the remove uh, background remove version as you can see I'm just making this uh, unviewed unlocked and here we go we have got the hand without without the background okay so just take a look how smooth it is although we have got some just little touches here we just need to spend a little extra times to make it more smoother okay so that's the easiest process of removing backgrounds from a complex image by using the pen tool okay so i will make more videos about pen tools because there we have got some exercise to select by using pen tool okay so i'll make some new videos on it and on a future video i'll show you how to earn money from online by providing background removal services to your clients okay as i have made a video here like this one fiber tutorial earn money easily data entry typing copy pasting by providing data entry typing copy pasting jobs okay so i will also make another video about the process about showing the process of uh, providing background removal services to clients and to get more videos of me just find me on youtube or just from this video click on subscribe button and click on the bell icon after you subscribed to my channel to get latest notifications and if you have found this video helpful then please like this video and if you have found this video unhelpful then please dislike this video as well and let me know your opinion or any comment if you have in the comment section below and i have to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching